My dear brothers and sisters, I wish to welcome you to the fifth Sunday of Lent. In our first reading today from the prophecy of Jeremiah, we read about the openness of God, docility of God, the mercy of God, the God who wants to establish a new covenant, a new relationship with us. Remember that a covenant is a relationship. And God says, I'm going to change the kind of covenant I gave to your ancestors because they failed. But I'm giving them a new opportunity. I'm giving them a new, you know, and unlimited chance. And that's why he says that I'm going to implant my presence in them such that nobody needs to teach them how to keep the covenant. But they will know by themselves how to keep this relationship. As I said, a covenant is a relationship. And I want to mention two important ways that God establishes his presence in us or makes this covenant, this relationship to become possible. The first way is, of course, through our conscience. God's presence is in us through our conscience. Okay, the, the conscience, our conscience is the sanctuary of God in us. The second way is through the incarnation when Jesus took our human nature. God established a new presence in humanity. So God wants to enter into this relationship with us. He has forgiven our sins. He has forgiven our mistakes. But we have to do something in order to enter into this relationship. And that's what we see in the second reading from the letter to the Hebrews. To enter into this new identity, into this new status, into this new communion, new fellowship, new friendship, we have to undergo a certain painful process. Getting to enter into relationship with God needs a lot of sacrifice. And that's what we see in the second reading today, how Jesus cried, how he made sacrifices, how he you know, raise his voice and pray and all that is basically a demonstration of the fact that entering into relationship with God is a process and it can be a painful process. Because for us to give birth to something new, we have to pay a price. And that price that we have to pay is a sacrifice that we have to make. And that's why in the gospel today, Jesus speaks about uh, the seed dying. Actually, the seed does not die. Rather, the seed goes through a certain fundamental transformation. And in this transformation, it involves a lot of pain also. Imagine when you see the caterpillar, you know, transformed into a butterfly, it becomes beautiful. Just in the same way, in this life, if you really want to become a better person, that's a sacrifice you have to make. And you have to pass through this process. And passing, this through, passing through this process, you know, can be very painful. If you want to become a good husband, if you want to become a good wife, if you want to become a rich person, if you want to become successful in whatever you're doing, you got to make this sacrifice. And this sacrifice can be in the form of detachment. Detachment. So, detachment has two aspects. You know, detachment from the material and detachment from the non-material. It is easier to detach from material things. I can break away from using my cell phone. I can throw that away. But the non-material aspect of us is very difficult to break away from. Things like prejudice, things, things like anger, things like jealousy, things like bitterness, wrath, unforgiveness, immorality... You know, name them, discrimination, laziness, pessimism, procrastination, name them. All these things we have to detach from in order to enter into this new life. Because Jesus, of course, is going to pass through this painful process in order to give us a new life. If you also wish to appropriate and receive this new life that Jesus is going to give to us in this Easter time, you and I, we also need to detach ourselves from the old ways in order to accept the new ways or the new way. 
you know, you cannot serve both God and mammon, as Jesus would say. So if we need to, if we want to live a happy life, we must abandon the sad life in the past. And this is the message today that transformation is possible and God created us that we may also experience this transformation. It can be painful when you choose to become a better person. You know, that detachment, that sacrifice, that all those things, they're very difficult. When you choose to become a good wife, you have to undergo a lot of sacrifice. If you choose to become a good husband, you have to undergo a lot of sacrifice. If you choose to become a wealthy, rich, successful man or woman, you have to make sacrifice. And that is the price you have to pay. In this life, before you can gain something better and good, or good and better and best, you have to make sacrifices. So, dying, like the, the seed we die, is the same like we die into our sins. Let's look inside ourselves and ask ourselves these basic questions. Are there things that are wrong in me? How can I kill these things that are wrong in me? These things that stop me from experiencing the transformation, the transformative power of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, how can I kill them? How can I put them to death? So we have to think about this on this day. But remember, dear friends in Christ, that God is merciful and He is ready to give us a new heart. As we listen to David in the Responsorial Psalm, it is only God who can give us a new life. Only God can give us a new heart. A heart filled with love, kindness, compassion. A heart that is tender. Only God can give us that kind of heart. But we, we have to surrender ourselves to the process of receiving this new heart. So dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate this fifth Sunday of Lent, let us give thanks to God who gives us opportunity for growth because God wants us to become better persons. God bless you.